Li Wei from Taishin, perhaps an overarching question. Um, several months ago, um, Chinese uh, Sino US relation is very intense, especially around the time uh, US imposed uh, kind of additional tariff on Chinese EVs or semiconductors. Um, and China is fa facing this trade war uh, nowadays with Europe. But all of a sudden, uh, you came and uh, U.S.-China relations seems to be on a better track, especially for the last few months of this year. Uh, what's behind uh, this uh, change? It, does that have anything to do with uh, Vice President Harris taking over the um, presidential race or any other factor from the Chinese side? And looking forward, do you see U.S.-China relations uh, turning uh, marginally for the better for the uh, next few months or potentially next few years compared to a potential second Trump term. Thanks. I can't characterize the Chinese side on this issue. They're going to have to speak for themselves. What I can tell you is that we believe in the Biden administration that intense diplomacy matters um, because it doesn't resolve every issue. It doesn't mean that we're going to agree on everything, uh, but it does mean that we can improve understanding, we can clarify misperceptions, we can reduce the risk of miscalculation, and we can identify areas to work together where our interests align that might previously have been hidden. So the relationship remains a competitive relationship. We need to responsibly manage that comp competition, and we're doing that through this very detailed, painstaking, multiple rounds of, of diplomatic effort. And it's not to arrive at a certain end result where everything's just resolved. It's rather to arrive on a stable basis so that each of us can stand up for our interests, we can stand up for our friends, we can defend our values. We can take the actions we feel we need to take in service of our national interests, but we can also work together to ensure that the relationship is managed responsibly. That is what this trip was about. That's what the diplomacy of the last two years have been about. And we do believe that it puts us in a position to increase the prospect um, of stability in the relationship. But we have to keep in mind, too, that there are always risks uh, risks of escalation, risks of misunderstanding, risks of something going awry. And we've seen that before in the U.S.-China relationship. And we discussed those risks, too, at some length, whether it's to do with cross-strait relations in the South China Sea or uh, European security and the war in Ukraine or, or many other issues, in, including issues that were not previously foreseen, uh, like incidents from uh, a year or two ago. So... This is something we will have to keep working at, and it's a work in progress. Today is not the end of anything. It's just the continuation of a sustained pattern of intensive diplomacy led by President Biden and President Xi and carried out by many of us across our administration and the Chinese government, and we're going to keep at it. Thank you, guys.